Hello everyone, I'm Anna Sildrim and this is my exoskeleton. I attended Google Science Fair with it. Wish me luck. It's made of 3 to 3 metal bars so it can handle extreme situations such as natural disasters, like its purpose of build. So I can carry 100 kg weight for hours. I designed 100% of it with various professional designing programs. I searched every single homemade exoskeleton video on YouTube for making a list of their pros and cons. Most of them focused on how it looks rather than how it performs. They made powered leg modules or only torso modules. Both of them are wrong. Only torso model can transfer the weight to the ground. It doesn't matter how strong its hydraulics are, you are still carrying the weight yourself. For the powered leg versions, why would you do a power wasting lifting mechanism which you will never use? It's like making a car with legs that can run. Legs are for climbing, not gathering distances. You should try wheels. They doesn't need power to hold on and can roll all the way. My exoskeleton has a stable bottom with rails. Upper body can go up and down on rails so I can pick heavy objects from ground or lock the upper body at lowest level to make it more mobile for transportation. After all, you can't expect your personnel to wear it all the way to natural disaster's heart. It also has two pneumatics. They are just like hydraulics, but they work with air pressure. Yes, hydraulics are better, but they are also more expensive and I had financial limits. These pneumatics can press 187 kilograms and when we involve math and physics, which I explained in my other video, link in the description, I can lift 84 kilograms net weight with it, except my arm lifting power, of course. As I said, it's directly related to money. You can get more power with the same size. My main aim with this is saving disaster victims that stuck under something, a building or a bridge or something. These exoskeletons can solo use heavy equipment and do agile maneuvers. It's better than waiting for a 5 ton emergency response lift to reach your disaster site. Each year 60,000 people die because of late responses by search and rescue teams. I am NS Airhead and thanks for listening.